Good morning, happy people! Coming at you today from inside the catio, where I am joined by uh, Mr. Stiggy and your boo boo. We are here today to start building some catio furniture. So, my idea is going to be to. Uh, in the center of the floor right here have a like a post coming up matter of fact it's that post right there the, uh, that one the four by four it's going to come up and there's going to be a branch coming off it to that corner another branch coming off to that corner and another branch going to this corner up here so kind of like three branches at different levels branching off in different directions kind of like a tree and I'm going to wrap that up with the uh, the twine for the scratch post uh, type stuff. And then we're going to have some platforms up on the in the corner where the branches and there'll be a platform for the cats to sit on. And I'm thinking maybe across the top up here like a catwalk and maybe like a suspension bridge or something coming across the top of the window and just some random shelving and stuff for them to sit on all over the place uh so we're gonna get to it and uh we'll try and take some video and some stuff along the way also i'm gonna work on the uh, litter box enclosure which is gonna go outside over here so uh, that's the plan for today and uh let's get to it Okay, so in today's lineup, we use tools. For us, we're going to be using a Ryobi chainsaw. Possibly a Ryobi roundover bit on a handheld router. My Ryobi drill. And a Ryobi circular saw. Now I know, a lot of you say, Ryobi, that's just junk from Home Depot. Well, I like it, so suck it up, buttercup. And we have a couple of 4x4 uh, four four beams here, along with a section of a 4x4 four four beam in the catio, which I'm going to now go retrieve. And the first step will be to uh, put a base on the beam in the catio so that we can stand it upright. So let me go grab that, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to be putting the wood at a 45 degree angle like this in the center so that this flat surface is facing this corner here, this flat surface is facing that corner, and this flat surface is facing the corner behind me. That way when I attach the wood I'm on flat surfaces and we're going to be making some funky cuts on the other end to attach to the corners. So I'm going to mark off on the bottom here where this is going to be situated and then we're going to attach the two pieces together. Our wood marked. Kind of at a 45 degree angle right here. And we're going to attach this board to the bottom of the post now. using some of these fancy construction screws. Ooh. And my drill. With a battery. Okay, that's in the center. Now, Goodness, loosen it up some. It's very strong. Okay, make my 45 degree angle.
Yep. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's the 45, right? And then uh, you can see the beam is in line with our 45. So now we're gonna put four more screws in the bottom of this to attach it to the plate and then we'll be good to go. Gotta love them construction screws. All right, so let's go put this beam inside and see what we got. All right, got me a few more screws. Now, we wanted this beam kind of like this, All right? this to the floor and that's going to be the trunk of our tree solid once I put the beams going to the corners this thing ain't going nowhere it is gonna be rock solid so now we can start measuring up for our beams getting our cut angles and uh, getting our beams cut first of all let's say hi to mr. Stiggers mr. Stiggers hi everybody I don't like cameras Boy. Okay. He's a little startled. Alright. Double pass on the circular saw did. We have our angled cut. Nice and flush. Both sides. Now let's take this inside and uh, see about what we need to mark up to cut this end. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a V in here, like that, so that the other block notches into this and uh, creates the uh, holding point on the corner block. So, push this, we're going to use the chainsaw. So 
let's go see how it fits. Okay. We have our beam in place, with a nice angle on this side, and a notch going into the corner on the other end. Um, that beam is in place, so now we're going to measure out for the next beam. We're going to go grab the second beam, that, the other half of the one that we cut, and we're going to measure it off for the other corner. I'll be right back. This one's going to sit higher. Let's see, maybe it's better to do this one first. But lots of dirty. Alright, so now this beam is going to sit like this. Okay, we've made a bunch of necessary adjustments to the cuts. Now we're going to screw these two beams in place before we do the third one. Okay, we got the tree structure up. Making all these weird angle cuts and everything, uh, notches, was, they all came out kind of funky looking. So we're gonna cover those up with some uh, trim wood and it's gonna get covered up with rope as well. Um, at least the, the, the base and the beams, but we might do something to dress up these sections here. But we got all the three beams on and this thing is rock solid, ain't going nowhere. Could probably hang an elephant from it. Um, not that we're ever gonna try, but now we're gonna try and make some like platforms on the tops of the corners and everything and uh, dress this up a little bit. And that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so what I've done is I've cut some two by six at 45s for the corners and then added another two by six in front of it on the cut off angle pieces that were from these beams to give it so that it's level i did that on three corners basically this corner up here i shaved off at a 45 there because i'm going to create some kind of bridge going from here to a catwalk going across the top of here which i've hung some brackets to put the catwalk on now i'm going to measure the length of the catwalk and go cut a board from the garage for that and uh so yeah we covered up the uh incidentals on the trunk of the tree to make it look nice and we've got the platforms so we're coming along pretty good okay so up one side we have a uh, kind of a catwalk thing going here we have the catwalk going across the top i'm gonna have to make something for them to get up to this from the floor um, this catwalk continues on over the window and get down on this platform here 
made another platform up there it's the platform over here and they'll be able to go up and down these beams that'll be covered in rope and then uh, we have a platform there and we're going to make like a little suspension bridge going from here to there so that's what's next so i have a few more things to do inside as i was saying um got to figure out how to make something for the cats to get up that suspension bridge across that little gap and i still got to do a platform down here underneath the front that's going to lead to the uh, litter box enclosure on the outside um, i think right now i'm going to uh, clean up and let the cats out let them play on what they got and uh, i'm gonna work on the litter box enclosure but uh, before i do that i might uh, just wrap the the tree post with the uh, rope for scratch post so what i have is a uh, three 50 foot lengths of natural jute twine three eighths diameter uh, rope and that's what we're going to wrap around these posts and here's stiggy he wants to see and smell but we're going to wrap that around this post in uh, on this section here and the three sections there so uh, we're going to start out by putting one of these nails in halfway put the rope underneath it and then bend this over the rope to hold it in place and then we'll start wrapping the rope tightly wound on itself all the way around all right here we go That's good and tight. Stiggers, I know you're curious. Looking good so far.
Here, let go. Watch yourself. All right, that's one down. Scratch, scratch, scratch.